Biofeedback is a method of learning how to control internal functions normally outside of conscious control. This is accomplished by using sensitive instruments that measure and display physical or mental processes, making you aware of things you can't easily feel or detect on your own. This is a standard practice in sports performance. Its proven effectiveness has made it an accepted medical technique for decades. However, few people or their doctors are aware of this logical, natural, self-regulatory alternative. Neurofeedback is brainwave biofeedback, a method to control your own brain function. Brainwaves are detected using sensors placed on the scalp. They are divided into bandwidths to describe their functions. Our brain waves change according to what we're doing and feeling. When slower brain waves are dominant, we can feel tired, slow, sluggish, or dreamy. The higher frequencies are dominant when we feel wired or hyper alert. In 1924, the German psychiatrist Hans Berger connected a couple of electrodes to a patient's scalp and detected a small current by using a ballistic galvanometer. During the years 1929 to 1938, he published 14 reports about his studies of EEGs. Neurofeedback began in the late 1950s and early 60s through the work of both Dr. Joe Kamaya at the University of Chicago and Dr. Barry Sturman at UCLA. Dr. Kamaya was studying consciousness and discovered that by using a simple reward system, people could learn to alter their brain activity. This was the first ever EEG neurofeedback training. By the late 1970s and into the 1980s, neurofeedback was being applied to attention deficit disorders through the work of Dr. Joel Lubar, and through the 90s to a wide variety of psychological and central nervous system based conditions. Over the last decade, the medical view of the brain has changed completely and the principles of neuroplasticity are universally accepted. Neuroscience has come to accept the interrelation between the central nervous system, the autoimmune system, emotional, physical, and mental health. It has conceded that indeed, the brain can change at any age and that we create new neurons throughout life. The natural mechanisms underlying neurofeedback are now becoming clear. Brainwave monitoring is no longer experimental. It is common practice in scientific studies to assess how people's brains are functioning under various conditions of illness, stress, and mental difficulties. Patterns in the EEG reflect emotional and cognitive states and predict whether people are paying attention or even what their mood is likely to be. With computer software like SmartMind3 and brainwave monitoring equipment, neurofeedback practitioners now have affordable precision tools.